Were you on board with X Force uh, throughout the the tenure of Rob Liefeld's run? I loved X Force. I loved Rob Liefeld at the time. I was a bigger Liefeld fan than Jim Lee. Um, you know, and I was buying this stuff off the newsstand. So when a new issue of of these books came out, they were my favorite comics at the time. Very exciting, and I loved X Force. This issue in particular comes up a lot in conversation uh, amongst amongst cartoonists because of the the color on the interiors it gets really wild, man. It gets very day glow. That that's that's not a that's not a bad page. But as we get deeper and deeper, you see these like weird blues and this like hundred percent green against like this hundred percent orange red thing. Um, all these. Yeah, this is a pretty crazy, wild, some coloring choices there. Whenever we happened upon this comic, and I've had this conversation with many, many... Yeah, this this is like some of the best. G.W. Bridge with this weird blue and brown all over his face. We would always talk about what was Brian Murray, the the colorist, like what was he trying to pull off? It, it felt very, very bleeding edge and and new and vibrant and and he's he's clearly trying something that that just isn't working but maybe he's on to something and i actually discovered the truth behind the matter i was at wondercon earlier this year and dan frega who will probably come up in conversation uh during the format when we talk about the formation of image and rob liefeld's extreme studios was giving me a tour of Rob Liefeld's homestead and showing me where where all the locations for Extreme Studios was and I, I brought up this issue and was talking about the the weird color and Dan Fraga who went to draw a bunch of uh, Rob Liefeld books in the future he knew exactly the issue I was talking about with the weird color and he dismissed all of our theories because Brian Murray started out he was a colorist for Neil Adams Continuity Studios and the, the color charts that they used, he simply thought were ubiquitous across comics. That if you if you um, provide a guide using X color chart um, for Continuity Studios or DC Comics or Marvel Comics, the, the results would be the same. And so he used the continu- Continuity Studios color charts while he was while he was um, delegating what the final color would look like to the color separators. So he sends that off only to discover that Marvel uses a different color chart with each of the, the colors are just shifted kind of over to two places. And, and this is uh this is the result of, um, of that simple mistake. That's an amazing story. You wonder if the color, if the color separators, somebody must've seen this and thought, this is very strange. Yeah, you but know the way comics are made. They were just, on. they were just doing a Fixing job. The next man. issue, yeah. They were just doing a job. 